lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. You got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Do you hear yourself? <laughs> I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnected. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. <laughs> I told you. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you a name. Go. Oh. I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk away please, from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. How's your memory now?
Maurice won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah. True story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them, too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice, what do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. Got a body here. Definitely a viceroy. Here's the weapon. Gunshot wounds. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime, then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? You trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gangbangers. <laughs> Roger the polls now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series. Looks like but it unlocks from the other side. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonova pitches. That's a big hit! See anything? Nope. Quiet here. We've got a known vice boy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm... He's not moving unless I give him a reason. Hey, you, sir. This is yeah, you, bullshit, come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're you know, just talking. Hey, man, look, I got my tickets right no, here. Right no, here. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP tickets? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, you yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing to make use. Something tells me if we run you shit state... are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All these cops, there's got to be one around. Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not gonna evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, we can close the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's gonna cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. Oh, shut it down, eh? I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can make that call, please. Okay, hang on. 
here, get me Barry. Uh, uh, well, tell him to call me ASAP. It's an emergency. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops, so is my race. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, I don't care. Gotta go. Our info and finding Maurice was correct. 
We've gained access to the CPU and back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both went in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTOS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. <laughs> Healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? Hmm. Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be I'll be up there in a sec. This matters. You being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? all the fun the kids were playing vigilante imitating that guy they keep talking about on tv let me guess Jax was the vigilante no they were all the vigilantes and i was the only villain but i make a mean bad guy <laughs> i gave him hell i should have come earlier i could have warned them don't mess with my sister remember when you and mom were both sick as dogs but dad insisted his boy was gonna have his birthday cake that thing was an abomination, all burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. 
He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. <sighs> Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Who is this? <laughs> you think blogging caller ID will hide you? <laughs> I don't know what's so entertaining, but the police won't find it very funny at all. I'm gonna give you some advice. Are you listening? Go outside, meet people, get a life, and stop calling me. What did you say? Listen, the police can trace this call. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter, just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine? He thinks he can get inside. How do you Know what he thinks. You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Okay, look, Aiden, God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Grown man making crank calls. Let's see how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. Sec. I need those CTOS hacks. Yeah, I'm still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay, well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I refuse my best client? 
Wait, what am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the Loop District. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. If I can hack CTOS inside the Loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the Loop. It's perfect. DeadSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. CTOS security. This new security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call. What the hell is happening? TOS? Already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You've got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler system's online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I could take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. What's that? No. But here's the thing. 
I come in this morning, find Maurice trying to dig his way out of the guest room. So I need to move him. Now I could pass this problem on to you, since Maurice is really your problem. But that's not my style. I always finish what I start, and all I'm asking of you... All right. Fine. I'll handle it. Well, no, don't let me push you out. I said I'd handle it. It's the job. Exactly. It's a delivery job. Gotta move some guy. I mean, how hard is that? Just keep in mind my reputation's on the line here. He's paying top dollar for the best driver in Chicago. Then he's in luck. Yeah. Where the fuck you been? It's gone to shit. Oh, fuck, man, it's all gone to shit. I'm on my way. Hurry, man, the cops are gonna find me. Hurry! managed to interrupt a nighttime invasion on a manufacturing plant. One assailant died at the scene, while one remains at large. Expect delays within Parker Square as police have set up roadblocks. This is squad. We've got a green light on CTOS search. Scanning for suspect now. Squad all units initiating CTOS. Shit. All units, be advised. Squad is beginning to scan for suspect. All units, this is squad. CQS scan has located the suspect. Distributing location. Let's go, Clip. Stand by. Squad, this is Clip. Stand by. Why's the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. He's meeting you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I didn't... Quiet now. It's all over, son. I got it, Elise, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. This is how the world turns. Not much room for fuck ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, well, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? Call your friends? Your girl? No, oh, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery.
Lucky fucking Quinn. He runs the Chicago South Club. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. And this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home.